today we're going to talk about five things not to do when you're packing. I'm Roseanne. For those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. So I just got back from Scotland and it was a really great experience. It was fun. I traveled with the group, had a fantastic travel partner. And while we were traveling, it was really obvious that there were some packing mistakes that happened that I want to share with you because they can be very useful when you're packing. So here are some things not to do. The first thing is even if you're going to be bringing on a carry-on, even if it's a small carry-on, do not put your important documents in that suitcase because there's a chance that when you get on the plane, there might not be any more room for your luggage and you're going to have to check it. What happened to my travel partner is she had a very small travel on. She packed so lightly, it was incredible. And she put her passports and all of her travel documents into her travel on bag. But when she got to the airplane, there was no more room, so she had to check her bag in. But she thought, okay, no problem, because I'm going to get it when I get off the plane. Well, that's not the case. That's not what happens. They put it in with the luggage, so when she ended up in Scotland, she did not have her passport. It was with her checked luggage that she couldn't access. Fortunately, everything went smoothly for her. There was an attendant that was able to walk with her to get her luggage so she can go through passport control. But with the way that things are going with the airlines, you wanna make sure that you carry the, your important documents with you on your body. That includes your passport, your travel documents, your medications, anything that you cannot do without once you land. Make sure you have them on your person and not in your suitcase. The second thing that's really important is don't count on the weather app to determine what the weather is going to be like in your destination. While the weather app can be helpful, you really need to go and look at the history of that month in that country or wherever it is you're going. And for example, you know, the reputation of Scotland is that it's cold. So whether the weather app says it's going to be in the 70s that whole week, just, just know that Scotland has a reputation for really crazy weather. It could be warm. It could be cold. It could be raining all in the same hour. So make sure you're prepared with the clothes that you're going to bring that you're going to be able to layer and be comfortable, like you have the right clothing for the area that you're going. Because remember, it's not always, the weather app is not always accurate. In fact, if you're in the United States using the weather app for Scotland or Italy, it might be completely wrong. Also, when you're, even if you're going to check in your luggage, make sure that all of your um, toiletries are you know, 3.4 ounces or travel size. Don't carry big um, shampoos or big products because it just takes up unnecessary room. If you want to bring all of your um, facial items and all of those things, put them in little travel containers or buy little travel sized containers because those are going to help you save room in your luggage because you really want to make sure that no matter how big, or how small your luggage is, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to carry it, that you're going to be able to maneuver it wherever it is, and so you don't want anything extra heavy inside your suitcase. Another thing is when you're going internationally, every country has their different regulations in terms of going through security at the airport. And, and some countries are more strict than others. So if you're going to bring your carry-on or if you're going to bring liquids through another country's um, uh, security, excuse me, <laughs> 
If you're going to bring your liquids through the security line in another country, make sure that you have a quart size container and that everything is 3.4 ounces or less. Even your lipsticks need to go inside that container. So the mistake that I made is I knew that we were having some weather delay and my flight from Scotland was going to JFK. And I knew that that hurricane was going on and I thought, wow, what if we got delayed? What if we had some problems? So I decided to bring some of my liquids with me. Um, and they were all the right size, but I thought, you know, just in case I had to stay the night, I wanted to make sure I had some stuff with me. And I put it in a quart, no, 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 I put it in a gallon sized container, which wasn't full, but they made me take my stuff out and put it in a quart sized container. And I actually had to throw some hand lotion away. <laughs> so just be cognizant of that, that um, if some regulations are, some countries are more strict than others. So always make sure that whatever you do, your liquids can fit in a quart size container. And the last thing is don't overstuff your suitcase. There's a couple of things that you can do, but you have to keep in mind that if you stuff your suitcase when you're traveling to your destination, you're going to want to buy souvenirs. The chances are you're going to buy souvenirs. You might buy stuff for your grandkids. You might buy stuff for yourself. You know, you want to make sure that you have room to bring stuff back. Now, if you want to travel really lightly going there and your suitcase is overstuffed, one thing that I've done in the past, which was really helpful, is I would add a duffel bag inside my suitcase so that I was able to put souvenirs inside. Because, you know, you go to all these wonderful countries or you're traveling and you want to bring your souvenirs home. When I was at Scotland, I took a little bit bigger of a suitcase and it wasn't overfilled at all. So I was able to fill, put everything in my suitcase back home, um, which was which worked out really great. But those are some things that you really need to consider when you're packing. You wanna make sure that you have everything that you need and that you are comfortable with the size and the weight of your luggage. And just for some bonus tips um, that would be really great when you're packing is scarves work wonderfully to change up your outfit. So I tend to wear black a lot when I'm traveling. <laughs> and so it's nice to have a different color scarf to spruce up your outfit, um, bring antibacterial wipes so you always have a way to wash your hands. If for some reason you get in a situation where your hands get sticky or you don't have access to soap and water for whatever reason, um, Make sure your headphones are always charged and ready to use. Uh, the headphones have been a really great um, way to uh, listen to your music and your whatever you like to listen to. But the other thing is if you're sharing a room with someone, putting your headphones in while you listen to some calming music to help you sleep is really helpful. And something that I just learned from my roommate uh, when I was in Scotland is she had these 10 milligram time release melatonin tablets and I had a really hard time sleeping when I first got to Scotland. My jet lag happens when I travel. I do a lot better when I get home and I could not sleep. I mean, I was up. I don't even know if I slept for three days. It was terrible. It was really hard. I could not sleep. And so I took one of her melatonin time release tablets and I was actually able to sleep. So a really great way to combat jet lag is consider doing a time-released melatonin. Ordinarily, melatonin has the opposite effect for me when I've ever used it, but this time it worked. So I wanted to share that tip with you as well. And while this is not necessarily packing, I do want to just bring this up one more time is download your 
movies or your series or anything that you want to watch. That really helps the travel experience. I downloaded a, two full seasons of uh, a show on Netflix and it was so good that it made the day, the the six hour, 10 hour flight just go by so much faster. So I would love to hear your stories. What stories do you have traveling? What did you learn when you went traveling and packed? Did you bring too much? Did you bring not enough? Were you comfortable? Did you have the right jackets? I would love to hear what your stories are. And don't forget that I have the link below for the um, to-do list when you're traveling internationally and a packing list, um, which can keep you organized when you're packing to make sure that you have everything that you need. I hope this video has been helpful. Please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. It really helps the algorithm and get this message out to everyone who loves to travel like I do. So take care and ciao for now. Bye.